Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about a very significant area, especially for genetics, molecular biology and biotech field. This is dark genome, dark transcriptome and dark proteome. So let's get started. Let's begin the session with the dark genome first. The dark genome refers to the portion of organism genome that has not yet been fully characterized or understood, especially in terms of its functionality. It includes the reasons that do not encode for protein, that is the non-coding reason, or have known for its functional element. These reasons were initially considered to be the junk DNA in the traditional molecular biology because they did not seem to have any obvious biological function at that moment of time. However, with the advent of technology, especially in the areas of genomics, epigenomics and sequencing revolution, have revealed that the dark genome contains important regulatory elements that influences gene expression, chromatin structures and cellular function. The another area is dark transcriptome, which is consist of all the RNA transcript that are produced from the dark genome. These include non-coding RNAs that do not encode protein but plays crucial role in gene regulation, splicing and other cellular processes. The dark transcriptome is challenging to study because of some of these RNAs may be present at low abundance or in a specific tissue making their detection and functional characterization difficult. And the third significant area is your dark proteome. The dark proteome refers to the portion of organism proteome that remain uncharacterized and poorly understood. While the human genome has been sequenced, not all the protein it codes have been identified and many of these proteins function remain unknown. The dark proteome also includes the proteins that are difficult to study due to their low abundance Let's try to understand the significance why these areas need to be explored further. The number one is to understand the dark genome and dark transcriptome and dark proteome is essential for unraveling the complexity of gene regulation and cellular function at the molecular level. These uncharacterized elements likely play a critical role in health and diseases and studying them can lead to insight into various biological processes and potential therapeutic targets. Here are the application of exploring and investigating dark genomics, dark transcriptomic and dark proteomics. The number one area is disease mechanism. Studying the dark genome, transcriptome and proteome can provide insight into the molecular mechanism underlying various diseases including cancer, neurodegenerative disorder and genetic disorders. The another area is drug discovery. Identifying novel protein and regulatory RNAs within the dark proteome and transcriptome can lead to the discovery of new drug target for therapeutic intervention. The another area is precision medicine. Understanding individual variation in the dark genome can contribute to personalized medicine approaches and treatment tailored to the patient's genetic profile. Moreover, it also has significant role in epigenetic regulation. Exploring the dark genomes helps in understanding the epigenetic modification and their influence on gene expression. Moreover, it also plays significant role in cellular development understanding. Investigating the dark transcriptome can shed light on the role of non-coding RNAs in embryonic development and tissue differentiation. The another area is your cancer biomarker. Identifying specific non-coding RNAs and protein from the dark genome and proteome may also serve as biomarker for cancer diagnosis and prognosis. It can also be utilized in gene therapy. Knowledge of the dark genome can aid in designing more effective gene therapies and gene editing technique. Adding to the list, it also has significant role in regenerative medicine. Understanding the dark proteome can contribute to advancement in regenerative medicine and tissue engineering. Apart from these, they also has role in environmental adaptation. Studying the dark genome can help to understand how organisms adapt to different environments and stressors. And finally, it can also be utilized in the areas of synthetic biology. Insight from the dark genome and proteome can apply in synthetic biology for engineering new cellular function and organism. Let's have ideas about the technology which are impacting and helping us in studying the dark genome, transcriptome and proteome. One of the significant technology is your next generation sequencing, the NGS. 
NGS technology enables high throughput sequencing of DNA and RNA, allowing researcher and scientists to analyze the entire genome, transcriptome, or proteome in various tissue and condition. The another technology is your single cell sequencing. This technology provides a detailed view of gene expression pattern in the single cell level, allowing researcher and scientists to identify rare transcript and protein that might be missed in the bulk analysis. The another significant technology is your mass spectrometry. Mass spectrometry is crucial for identifying and quantifying the protein within the proteome, including those that are low in abundance. The fourth on the list is CRISPR-Cas technology. CRISPR-based gene editing techniques are valuable tools for functional studies of both coding and non-coding regions of the genome. And finally, the computational biology. As we know, advanced bioinformatics and computational tools are important for analyzing the vast amount of genomic, transcriptomic, proteomic and other omic data, helping to identify potential functional element and interaction within the dark regions. By leveraging these technologies and interdisciplinary approaches, researchers and scientists can unlock the mysteries of dark genome, transcriptome and proteome, leading to the profound insight into biology and diseases. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.